Good morning, folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Saturday stream. I'll be streaming na like now, of course, <laughs> and later in the afternoon, and then this evening I'll be doing a third stream. This stream is going to be go doing the Saga 2 remake. I played the original Saga 2 on Game Boy, original Game Boy, as a kid. It was one of my first... Um, Eastern RPGs, and really quirky, weird-ass game, even by, like, 90s standards. Just really good. And then in 2009, fucking Squeenix and their infinite wisdom made a full 3D remake of the game and didn't bring it stateside, which sucks. But, you know, the only thing you can do about that is, uh, you know, emulate, because <laughs> what what can you really do? You can't really get it. Well, I mean, I probably could find, like, a used copy of it, but that's a lot of work. So we're going to just be emulating it today. Plus, there's a um, an English patch that fans have made, so that's kind of how we're dealing with it as well. But we're going to be diving into that. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. I really love the remake. I've tried, tried, I've tried playing it a few times, but just other stuff came up that I, I had to kind of drop it from the schedule. But hopefully that's not going to be a problem anymore since I have a dedicated Saturday slot for it. Anyway, before we begin, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which helps pay bail <laughs> to secure the liberty and safety of individuals in jail and emergency. I'm surprised I haven't memorized that yet, how many, how often I say it. But yeah, good people, they get good cause, especially with all the fucking anti-trans garbage getting like shot through fucking legislature as of late. I feel like that might be a good, good fun to help people with. Anyway. If, it's, if it sounds like something you'd like to support, I have a donation button below my stream. I have an exclamation point donate command. Uh, my chatbot shares that command every 30 minutes for your convenience. And I have a, I'll have a QR code in the bottom left of the screen that will also take you to the fundraising page. I don't receive anything from you donating other than me getting warm and fuzzies from trying to help people. <laughs> but either way, your support one way or another is greatly appreciated. Thank you. All right. Let's do this. I, I had a little bit of a, of, of a problem last night, too, when I got home. Like, my freaking, um, like, my OBS looked all fucking weird. I had to, like, kind of very quickly do an emergency kind of, like, restructure, reconstruction of my layout. And it might not be exactly correct. But honestly, I, I was thinking of kind of maybe working on some new stuff for it at some point soon anyway, but regardless, let's get the game going. Excuse me. Did I just fuck up? Um, oh, it's because the path got, paths are weird because I, for some reason, decided it was a good idea to, um, do all the path stuff while I still had the folder for the new version of the emulator on, you know, on my, my goddamn desktop when I was needing to put it in its proper spot. Uh, where's the config frames? Path settings. Uh, let's. We're gonna. Move this real quick into my. Just change. I'm gonna just change this real quick for ease of access. Because if I don't do that now, I'll have to do this every single time, and then it'll just kind of slow everything down a little bit going from there. I think everything else is fine, but right. I guess we'll just open instead. Another thing, they also did a remake of Saga 3, which was also for um, the N Nintendo DS. The original was also for Game Boy, and I also played that as a kid. So eventually we might get to that. I have not actually played the 
the Saga 3 remake. But, there we go. I almost had a problem, like, oh, did I delete something I shouldn't have? Oh, Square Enix, you rascally fucking rascals. Okay, I'm gonna turn off background pause so I can kind of do stuff in the background. That I need to double check. Oh, this is uh, it's still gonna do it anyway, isn't it? Uh, I was gonna double check the uh, control settings because I can't remember if those are like fine as is or. Let's see, microphone. Don't care. Control config. Yeah, I'm glad I'm doing this now because it's not. Correct. Um, and now I gotta figure out the layout. I should have did this last night too before bed anyway, but. Okay, so A is on, A is where B, A is where B is, B is where A is. Uh, y is where X is. <laughs> And, uh, start, select, L, R. All right. Sorry about that. But now I have the controls set and they should be fine. And the inconsistency with the backgrounds looking how they do and the characters being all, like, lined out and stuff is because there's, like, some emulator settings I did that, like, sharpens the, the 3D settings. So maybe maybe the rest of the game will look better than that, but if it doesn't, that's fine. It's whatever. It's a it's a Nintendo DS game. There's precious little you can do to really upscale them tangibly for whatever reason. This game's tagline is like, I think it's Saga 2, Religion of the Relics, yep, Religion of the Relics, Goddesses of Destiny. It's a, it's a bit of a, um, we need to click in here again. Oh, yeah, I had to click in there again. Oh, shit, no, not like that. Okay, here we go. Please create your character. Nope. Well, actually, yes. I was going to pick this, uh, the human, um, boy, ma male, whatever. Let's see. They actually they even give you a few like model types to ch choose from if you so choose, which mm. color type. Oh yeah, they even give you different colors too. Nice. All right, and I'm just picking this character cuz I think it's kind of like Oh, I need to do a uh... Shift, there we go. We'll just, we're picking this character just because it's good to have a strengthy character. And that's what uh, human male characters are in this game. Yep. Mobis. Mobis. This remake's really, for the most part, very, very th faithful to um, the original, like, story-wise. It's just translated to 3D, and some of it's a little wacky, but what can you really do? Dad? What is it? I'm going to be away for a while. Obviously, there's something I want you to have. Honk, shoo, me, me, me. Hey, Mavis, wake up. 
<clears throat> okay, it's looking like the rest of the game is probably not going to be quite as blurry as those pre-rendered scenes might have been. So, so we'll, I guess we'll see. <laughs> what? I'm tired. Mobus, listen up. This is a little small critter. Treasure spirit mirror obtained. Ability to detect hidden treasures acquired. Guard this with your life. Understand? Are you going away again? Yep, please take care of your mother while I'm gone. Dude's got a big ass fucking stogie. <laughs> no whip. I think he's like meant to be like a parody of Indiana Jones or something like that. I think I've re I've read in the past. Come back soon. Sure. Cheer up, kiddo. Oh, they do show him just going out the window. <laughs> Why does dad always leave through the window? And what is this thing? <laughs> God, I love this game. The years passed, and Mama grew into an adult. Ugh, fuck. Doubtful. <laughs> Mama! Mom, um... Yes, dear? <laughs> on your mind you can tell your mother it's dad I want to I want to I want to look for dad oh I knew this day would eventually come you have your father's adventurous spirit after all I'm worried about you though will you be okay here all by yourself goodness I didn't know I had such a fine child so thoughtful of your mother you should be more worried about yourself you're as rash as your father Get going. Okay. Tell your father that I'm doing well. Yeah. Now hurry up and go. Mom, I... And say goodbye to your teacher, too. Yeah. Mom, I, I promise I'll bring Dad back. So you're leaving. If that's the case, there's something I need to tell you. This world was created by the ancient gods. Did you know that? Yeah. The, re the remnants of our creation, the relics, are scattered around the world. That thing your father entrusted to see you when you were little is one of those relics. Legend says when all 77 relics are assembled, a statue of a goddess is formed. Wow. Each relic has its own power. There are corrupt people that have used those powers to become new gods. <laughs> Yay, gods! <laughs> Why did Dad have such a thing? Your father was planning to assemble this goddess statue himself. He had hoped to prevent the misuse of the relic's power. So dad is fighting for freedom and justice. Well... Something like that. <laughs> the relics would be key in finding your father. Alright. The spirit mirror your father gave you contains a power you may find useful. When used, it will show the current number of relics in that world. Use it well. Thank you. I'll try to learn more about the relics. Here we go. You're leaving, Mamas? Let me come too. Me too, Mamas. What should I do, teacher? Hmm. Friends will be invaluable on this journey. You should take three who you can trust. And that's what we're gonna do. Alright, first partner. Esper male. Let's see. I kind of decide either this one or this one. I'll probably be or probably be the ones I'm picking, because, well, yeah. Um, honestly, I like this one's color scheme better, because this one's just too much of the same color. It kind of bothers me. So I'll pick this one. Uh, let's see. Oh, we, I mean, we could change the color, but no, this one's fine. And this one is going to be named Hail after my partner. <laughs> This hail, not the other hail. <laughs> Although the other hail is am an amazing person as well. You should definitely go follow them and give them love and forehead kisses, etc., etc. Alright, so that's the first character. I had to think a while about these characters. Well, not as much as some of the others, but this one is... Uh, is there any... Uh, almost kind of like... This one's got like a little roller feet. Kind of dig it. 
Uh, let's see what colors this one can have. Uh, let's try this one. Let's see. Uh, we'll just stay with the normal stuff. And this one is gonna be cloudy. In reference to one of my new good, new better friends. They have been, they have been uh, co-streaming with me on Tuesdays for a Tales of the Abyss, and it's been a fucking blast. And y'all should definitely go give them your attention. They also play lots of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, which is also something I like. So you know, because that one's they're gonna be cloudy. And last, but certainly not least, we have a monster. Ooh. And we're gonna be picking the mini dragon because their monster their monster level is the same as these ones, but the monster type is from a much, much stronger family. And will be much more useful going forward. So, mini dragon. And we're naming this this little monster Hachiko for one of my best friends and one of the best people I've been able to meet on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, that's not usually not a very high bar, but like, man's changed my life in a way. He's part of the reason why I stream and fundraise and stuff, so you should definitely help Hajiko whenever possible. I do. I try to, at least. Can't say I'm always super successful at it, but hey, that's how it goes, alright? So we've got Hale, Cloudy, and Hachiko. Let's go! Alright. I've, I've been thinking about these characters, like, char who is gonna have these characters be that kind of fits with the game, and plus kind of what I might need, etc., for like, a week at least. <laughs> You'll find a cave to the north of town. Beyond it lies the town. That should be your first destination. Okay, let's go! Alright, now we are turned loose. Hello. Come back soon, Mobus. Past Northern Cave is the outside world. Okay, that's a friend's house. Mobus, take good care of my Cloudy. I guess that's Cloudy's mom. <laughs> As, as far as robots go, like, all the, all these character types are very different from each other in how they grow. Well, not completely. Like, we got... Modest here, he, humans tend to grow their weapon skills faster as they use stuff like swords and whatever. <clears throat> uh, espers do the same, but less so, but they also can learn spells and abilities naturally and use them. Robots grow more powerful as you give them more powerful gear. And monsters, as the stream title relates to, grow powerful by eating different monster meats that you get in combat, so. Very, four very different characters. But it's just, one of my favorite things about this game is just how different the characters are. You're going too, Hale? Well, go on. Take this with you. Oh, goodness. Hale's parent can't really tell, you know, it's it's like a fucking mushroom. <laughs> Gave us a potion. Nice. Yeah, that's the only reason I was talking to these people. I can't remember which house gives you a potion. It, they do that too in the first game on Game Boy. And level gains in this game are random, based off of like the monster level you defeat. Like, ev like certain monsters have different like strength, quote unquote, strength levels or whatever that they ha are assigned, and based on that will determine how strong your characters like, like how the chance of getting a stat up, and also the how high your character stats. I think also determines that level growth, like. If your stats are higher, the level growth chance is a bit lower, etc. You know, all that shit. I've decided to come with you, teacher. Join the team. Teacher is absurdly overpowered for this first part of the game, which is fine. This is like kind of the tutorial area. Before you go, I have a few bits of advice for you. When you make contact with enemies out there, be warned that a battle will commence. If there are other enemies in the area at that time, it's possible they may come to join the fight. You should always keep an eye on your surroundings, since it can be difficult to deal with a large number of enemies at once. 
You can rotate the camera by pressing the L button to view your left side, and the R button to view your right side. By the way, there is a limited number of times you can use weapons or abilities while in battle. Therefore, always choose your actions wisely, and don't get stuck being unable to act. The number of remaining uses of each item is shown in the right of each item name. Hmm. Well, enough with the long speeches for now. <laughs> if you'd like further explanation, you can open the menu and press the start button. While I'm here with you, I can give you various tips. Alright. Okay, yeah, this looks a little less blurry than I remember it looking. So yeah, the, the upscaling stuff I was, was able to, I'm able to do is nice. Alright. This this overworld theme is fucking sick. Th this game's music is fucking sick. Alright, let's battle. The battle theme's sick. Oh, we got some Jaguars! Long sword. You can't really specify a single a singular enemy out of this group. <clears throat> but the good thing about Hale here, other than being adorable, is um has a spell called Cold Wave that hits all enemies. Uh, robots, Cloudy's got a gun. <laughs> and um, another reason to pick the mini dragon is it has flame, which is the same thing as Cold Wave, but fire, so. And you just, he just has like a, like a group hit fire spell that just will just end this battle immediately. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna try to let some of the other characters fight too. Alright. Yeah, that, yeah. Chop! Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, this game could be a little brutal. Oh, we didn't get we didn't gain anything anyway, but thankfully your characters come back to life after battles There's no like you there's, you don't have to like revive them after every single thing like a lot of other RPGs So, so we can we can afford a few uh, super slime we can afford a few um Things like that, but unfortunately those uh, Jaguars are pretty strong damage wise as far as these early enemies go We got a we have a robber. It's nice they also have a do nothing action that you can do in this game. You used to not be able to do that. You used to have to always select a, a select something or whatever. But now you can have your characters just do nothing. Yeah, these robbers are a lot less powerful than the jaguars are. Yay! Ooh, spirit up. That's uh, arguably more important than getting health up, because that's your your your, your uh, abilities scale off of your spirit. Which is spirit is now seven. That's because. So, spell is probably gonna do a little bit more damage now. Seven by five, thirty-five. So it's probably gonna be like head around like forty or so, give or take. Let's see. And we're also gonna probably tr be trying to use up most, if not all, of uh, teacher's uh, abilities before we get through the next dungeon because teacher will be leaving us. Spoilers, yada yada, but you know, this is like a 20, this is like a 13, 14 year old remake of a like almost like 30 something year old game, so there's only so much spoilers I can really avoid at this point. Um, and we'll have them continue to do nothing because our, um, our, our human and our uh, Esper desperately need to be trying to get stat ups whenever possible. That's deathly important. Well, granted, next time we'll get some armor and stuff, so it'll be a little less scary. Because right now, like, Mob is getting too sharp with his Jaguars, but.
It'll get better. Probably. I think these are some spiders, I wanna say? Daddy long legs, okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a spider. Daddy long legs! Okay, we're gonna have you do flame, because that will, like, instantly kill the skeleton, probably. You know what? We're gonna kill this jaguar. They're, they're a pain in the ass. They do a lot of damage. So, do, so does Mr. S, or teacher. Mr. S is, is uh, their original name from the original game. Probably for, like, Mr. Slime or whatever. As much as I want to, we're not eating that meat, because that'll, that'll turn, um, Hachiko into a much worse monster. Because meats have different power levels, and there's a, a ridiculously exhaustive chart on how all that shit works. That I'm not gonna go into right now, because <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Ooh. We got Ashigaru, who is like a, swords, a swordsman. Yeah, very soon our robots can become a, 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 like a weapon of mass destruction in this first world because you can just load them up with like all the same gear to make them really powerful, like really early. And they can kind of continue being that powerful as you get like better stuff too, so. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, I think it, we've, all, we've all acted now, so it's fine to, like, do, uh... Let's do fire. Ooh, we got a free longsword. That's very good, because, um... If we go to, um... Equipment... Uh, we go on one of these empty slots and get that longsword directly over to, uh, Mabus here. Uh, I mean, we might as well use, um, Cure. Oh, well, let me go back in the menu and do that. We might as well use Cure, because otherwise it's just going to go to waste, and we might as well get some use out of it. And once we hit, once we hit the next town, Clyde is going to get a, a major power spike. Let's uh, not deal with the Jaguars. <laughs> like, a major power spike. Like, we're going to be giving them, like... A few rapiers or something and stuff like that, and they're just gonna get really fast and do a lot of damage, and they'll they'll, they'll carry us for a while, while the uh, human and the esper kind of try to play catch up. Because right now the um, the robot's a little useless. Good morning, 3Gs. Oh, perfect. I love this fucking battle theme, it's so good. Like, they, 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 they shazammed it up way, way, way from the uh, Game Boy theme. But it's still, like, recognizable. But good morning, good morning, 3Gs. Thanks for joining me. Fucking love this game, and I love this remake. Jaguar at me, no! I that would ruin my monster, because this monster is specifically a, uh, it's a base, it's a very, it's a big, it's a base level of a later game monster that has a much higher, like, monster level than most of the other monsters you can pick to start with, so we're, uh, trying to, um, keep them for as, 
There's a specific meat I want to eat that will turn us to something much better. Uh, I guess we can use- <laughs> Robot can use the gun. Uh, we don't actually need a teacher to do anything. Oh! <laughs> Robot's got a gun. Yeah, I love- I fucking love this game. Okay, we're gonna have you do nothing. And you do nothing. And you do nothing, you do nothing, and you just finish this dude off with Dissolve. Ooh, you got an HP up. Good for you. Yeah, the level gains in this game are random. <laughs> so, um, sometimes you can, go, you can go, like, really long stretches without your characters, like, growing at all, and it's a little, it can be a little annoying, but sometimes you just get a bunch of, like, rapid growth all over the place. But it's good, it's good that the Esper got a little bit more HP, because, yeah, they tend to be a little fragile. Okay, we got two Jaguars. Uh, we're just going to finish this group off with fire. Fire! Because those Jaguars can be uh, dangerous, since we don't really have armor. We have some armor, but not enough to really make them do less damage. Okay, we got some robbers. Weapons, weapons are durability, and skills have uses that you have to replenish at like an inn. <laughs> I love this big ass hammer though. Probably not gonna be using it much because strength on espers isn't very strength isn't really super useful on espers. <clears throat> Pouch! Pouch! Go, Hachiko, go! No! <laughs> You're not supposed to miss! What? Fine, flame, that won't miss. Spells really can't miss in this game. <clears throat> Fire learned. Yeah, Espers can also just learn abilities. So now, um... So now Hail here has fire and um, cold wave. Cold wave is a hit all enemies. Move. <clears throat> Excuse me. Move. <laughs> and fire is a group target, which is a group target with a little bit more da a higher damage multiplier. Well, I'm just gonna format this like that, because eventually this cup is gonna be they can have up to four abilities, so eventually that's kinda the bottom half's gonna be for the abilities and top half will be for like armor and stuff. Alright, let's keep going through this cave. Yeah. Yeah, this is a remake of a original Game Boy game in 3D. It's absurdly cool. I'm I'm so I'm they didn't release this stateside Square in their infinite wisdom, so it's like, mmm. I love when Square just doesn't release ga really cool games in the states. It's fun, I love it, it's my favorite. Ooh, max HP up, that's good. Unfortunately, no uh, strength boosts yet. But them, them's the breaks sometimes when the the level of growths aren't set in stone. We 
could have a teacher just kill this Jaguar. I'll give the robot a chance. Um, unfortunately, that Derringer isn't gonna really do much on. It's it's a little inaccurate, as you can tell. But you know what? I got time if you got time. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I, you are absolutely correct. It did. I I still have my cart of it. <laughs> I absolutely love this game, and this remake is awesome. They didn't release it stateside, so this is a um, a fan translation apply patch applied to the uh, ISO, the, not ISO, the ROM. But yeah, I love this game. This is like one of my favorite. This is like one of my first uh, RPGs in general, let alone JRPGs. And yeah, yeah, I, I, I absolutely love it to pieces. Even if it can be a little frustrating sometimes because of the level random leveling stuff it's just I ride or die that's me oh wow got another another little bit nice bit of HP there 90 up to 96 they also they also did a remake of uh, of Final Fantasy Legend 3 which is also on the Game Boy and I have the ROM for that too so maybe I can just play that remake after this one but we're going to be playing this one for a, a little bit. Yeah, we're just going to do nothing for this Jaguar. And use up some of Mr. Uh, Mr. Teacher. Use up Teacher's, um... I keep getting some of the names from the original game mixed up with the new ones. <laughs> yeah, those Jaguars are not fun, so we're going to just wipe them out. Bronze Shield. It's a newt! Ow. Rude ass. I, I'm not going to be eating meat until the second uh, world, which we might get to in this stream. I don't really, can't really remember how far, like how long that takes, because, yeah. They've added some new stuff to the game to kind of like make, to that makes things take a little longer. But, we'll, I, I guess we'll see. But yeah, this is going to be my uh, Saturday morning um, slot now for the foreseeable future. Yeah, I want I want uh, Mavis to get an action off because that's how you gain skill ups is by doing stuff in battle. Except I don't think a miss counts, so we're gonna have to do that turn again. Thankfully, these robbers don't really do damage because the item that they're using, punch, is does damage based off of um, how many times you use it. With like the final few hits doing a lot of damage. And since they're using like a zero durability version that I just doesn't they just don't really do much damage <laughs> which is nice cuz yeah that would have been kind of bad otherwise max HP well at least Mabus will be a little strong less likely to die kind of annoying that I haven't got any strength level ups but, you know, what can you really do? I mean, this kind of enemy type is pretty safe to fight. Mm -hmm. 
something that would be nice to get before, before we have, um, teacher leave would be, um, a cure spell on Hale, because that is a spell you can learn from, like, the first kind of, like, learn table. But if not, it's, it's fine. We'll probably end up learning it at some point while we're grinding up some stats or money and the like. It's kind of like the whole point of this first area is to have te like use teach to kind of experiment with with combat and uh, get some money and stuff like that. All right. I guess they probably my favorite thing about this remake's use of the DS screen is that you don't have to use the damn DS screen to like fight things. Cause like some games work really well with like how the, the DS used the second screen or touch controls, but like some games just don't fucking need that shit. Like games like this, no, don't don't do that. <clears throat> like don't like don't fucking like hinge a frickin' RPG to a goddamn touchscreen interface. That's silly. Pounce! See, the punch that goblins and monsters have is a different kind of punch than the item punch. As confusing as that might be. Hello, oh hey, hey, it's, look, it's Cloudy. You have to see your little round robot friend. <laughs> With a gun. <laughs> Call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> <Just blah! laughs> oh, we got a free longsword, nice. Uh, oh. Okay, another enemy fight. And yeah, this is a remake of like a, well at the time it was like a, like a freaking, like, 19 year old game or so. And now that game is like 30 years old and this remake's like 13 years old, so you know. Just, just time, just time. Endlessly progressing mercilessly on my poor soul. Uh oh. Well, <laughs> I shouldn't have known that was gonna happen. That's fine. Death is hardly permanent in this game. I mean, unless you like. Everyone wipes, of course, but. It's fine. The enemies in this area are a little strong for how much armor your main character, your main party actually has. The teacher character that's really, like, overpowered is, like, a support character for this first, like, area of the game. Just... Oh, you survived the battle, so you got some more HP. Good for you. We are not gonna eat the meat, because that would make our monster worse. It seems weird that I'm saying it'd make our monster worse, but, like, our monster has, like, a specific, like class, like, a uh, monster type and, like, level. And this one is from, like, the seventh world, but it's, like, got, like, starter stats, so it's, like, very powerful for... It's... It, it will be very powerful when we give it the right kind of, uh, monster food. Alright, let's continue. We shouldn't- we don't really need to be fighting, like, a million fights in this place. I'm just trying to use up more of the, uh, skills of the, um, support character, because once- once we get to the end of the cave, uh, they're gonna be leaving, like, permanently. We're still gonna try to get some skill ups while we can with what opportunities, but. More HP. Oh boy, a punch. We can actually use that to train some agility. 
Yeah, I really, I really like the uh, character designs they went with for the um, for this re uh, remake. Oh God! <laughs> Freaking cat enemy types are so fast. Per oh boy! Oh boy, my favorite! I love just getting surprise attack by just m murder cats. Yeah, we're gonna just um. Fire! Not really good for much than some some Caro, which I guess is the money in this universe. And the and the other um and in, in the in the original game it was GP, so they're probably like, yeah, let's just make it something different because who's who's gonna argue with us? <laughs> who's gonna fucking argue with us about what the money is called? I know there was like that spider monster. Let's... Let's get into a big fight. Cause he can chain fights together. For better for better or for worse, probably not a good idea to do this, but you know. I never said I had good ideas. Hail, hail with their, with phase cold wave. Just do a decent amount of damage. Daddy long legs with their fangs. Pounce! And then good old Hachiko. Blast him with some flame. Alright, everyone got to do actions that matters, so we're gonna just, uh. Use up another uh, fire now. Oh boy, a punch. I think you can use those to try to get agility skill ups with your humans and your espers, but otherwise, they're not very useful. We got one more cure spell with a uh, teacher. Let's gonna use, use it on you. We're probably gonna just try to avoid fights if possible. Oh god. Uh, let's just fight this. Maybe the other thing will just give up. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Fire! Nothing, 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 nothing. Again, it'd be really nice if Hale could learn the cure ability before we end, but oh, finally, a strength increase. I probably mean roughly around seven more damage with um, fire. I was also thinking um, Sora from fucking Kingdom Hearts just yelling like fire. <laughs> Fucking Mew. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have some potions we can use. And then we got these boxes we're gonna open. A bow, okay. Not you not completely useless. And a battle hammer. Also not completely useless, but not very powerful. Good for like trying to cheaply grind up your um your strength stat. All right, here's the like mini boss at the end of the cave. Hand over the relic. I'm gonna become a god. <laughs> Ramp for Han Hankus. That's a fucking name. It should survive that. Ooh, ow. And probably this too. Oh no, no, I did it. Good for us. I think that's like technically an enemy from like the next like level up, even, so. 
Uh, let's heal our... Our blonde-haired twink here. <laughs> what's your What's your grandma's name? Ran for night guess. <laughs> or hail. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. That that that'd be a hell of a name. It's like now go now come give gra grandma Ran for night guess a kiss. <laughs> Mabus, this is as far as I go. As our town's guardian, I must not travel any further away. Look for my student in town if you need assistance. Finally, examine the exclamation point on your way to outset town, and surely something good will happen. There is a long road ahead of you, Mabus, so good luck. No, you come with me, my cute thing. He's like the, like, he's just like the protector of the town, I guess, so he doesn't come with us. It won't be too much longer before we get another support character with us anyway. Okay, now let's try to get to this town before getting murdered by jaguars, because, yeah. The jaguars are still kind of annoyingly strong. Okay, that person looks kind of like our character's dad, so there's going to be some confusion. Good morning, Yuzu. Welcome. Yeah, the Libog guy is awesome. I'm currently a little transformed due to channel points, but welcome. <laughs> Now, this is a remake of the uh, Final Fantasy Legend 2 game for Game Boy that I played as a kid. Of course, Squeenix and their Infinite Wisdom never released this stateside, so I am, I'm emulating. Which, meh, I emulate whenever I can, just because it's cheaper, but, you know. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you understand. Welcome, what'll it be? We're gonna buy some equipment for our characters, so let's see. Two gloves for our two flesh people. Okay, and then two helmets. And we can buy two other gloves for our for Cloudy, because as a robot, Cloudy does not care what kind of armor they wear. They'll they can equip multiple pieces of the same thing with no penalties or just they, they just can they can just do it. Okay, so let's give you some gloves and a helmet. <laughs> Alright, and we'll do gloves and a helmet. And then we're gonna go over to you, and we're just gonna just, just sh shove gloves on this robot. And I'll also, boost up Cloudy's HP. All right, and pretty soon we'll be getting rid of the gun because it it relies on agility to hit anything, and it has a set damage kind of range, which is like enough for like early game. But eh, I don't really like the slot being taken up by the gun. Ugh. All right. I like moving this like resistance thing to the bottom because it doesn't really matter to like combat wise or whatever. All right. And honestly, we're probably gonna switch the order of all this stuff because, um, yeah, um, eventually Hale here is gonna have four abilities like this, and maybe not even a weapon because they mostly use like this kind of stuff in battle. Let's see. Yeah, we'll move all this similarly stuff to similarly we'll move all this stuff to the bottom. Just because it's not stuff we're gonna regularly use in combat, so might as well just have it at the bottom. And little monsters don't really matter because their moveset is static when they're currently in their form of being a mini dragon. So. Alright, so we've got gloves there, everyone. We're gonna go to the weapon shop next and just power up our, uh, we should probably first go to the inn. Hello, bone, bony innkeeper. Drink some coffee. Uh. Alright, let's calm down a little. <laughs> Alright, what's over here? Oh, that's like the storage guy. Something they didn't have in the original game is like item storage. 
of any kind because it was a it was a Game Boy game. They didn't really think that far ahead. But this remake adds like item storage, adds like side quests, just a lot of lot of stuff. This is like a little tutorial character. It's another little eye monster, just kind of cute. You can, you can tell it's a girl because it's got a flower on its hair and it's pink. Are you teacher's student? Ah, you must be teacher's new pupils. Yes. So now it must be teacher told you to find me. Yes. We were told to ask ask you if we need help understanding. It is very cute. That's right. I'm teaching various things while I travel the world. If there are any things you have to know, come find me and ask. I'm probably fine without talking to them because I've played this game too much. Like the original the original version on Game Game Boy, too much. I still have the cart for it somewhere in my in, in my my where you know my house. Welcome, what are you having today? We're gonna be buying um Let's see, how much money do we have? We have fifteen hundred We're gonna spend most of that on rapiers, and you're about you're about to see why. Uh, equipment. Let's go to Cloudy here, and Cloudy's about to give him, give him just a monster, because that's gonna boost Cloudy's agility by nine, under HP as well. And we're gonna. You can just keep adding rapiers on. <laughs> and. 17 agility, a little bit lower HP because of that. Oh no, the the things aren't playing, the sound alerts. They're, well, at least they're not playing for me. If they're playing for y'all, that's perfect, that's fine, but I don't know what's going on. I probably did something fucked up somewhere. Uh, alrighty, um... Yeah, between this room and the next one, I'll probably try to, like, close and reopen, um... OBS to make sure that they work for next stream. Okay. Technically, these punches would also boost agility, and I guess they can kind of like they can kind of fill the gap if we really need them to. But mm. yeah, you can just like load up your ro your robot with like some m modest equipment to make them very powerful super early in the game. Okay, that works. I don't know if. The sound lords are always a little fucky. Admittedly, let's see. Uh, I'll probably just sell that. I'm probably not gonna use that, so we'll sell that. Same with. Uh. The long sword's the main weapon that our. That uh, Mavis uses, so we're gonna hold on to that. Ah, yeah, I saw you can run like one like a roulette or something. I, I was guessing that's for the houses, cause I I I don't know much about 14, but I know there's like roulettes for like housing and shit, which seems weird to me. But hey, your game, not mine. Well. We'll buy some of these potions. Just because they're nice to have until we can get a cure spell. Alright, this look at this dude. Look at this lad. Dude's thick as shit. Say you there. Yeah, pal. You There's a there's a housing crisis in the Orzia. Fair, fair, fair. I have some good news for you. Why don't you sell me some items? I'll hang on to the goods I buy from you. If you want them again, you should see me. It'll cost more than other shops, but I'll sell it to you, pal. Um, you can basically sell stuff to this guy, and he'll keep the, um... As far as I'm aware, he'll keep the items between different, like, save files or some shit. Or... It's weird, I don't really know why you'd want to use that, but... Okay, this is the person we're supposed to talk to, or, like, encounter. Because they look kind of like your the char main character's, uh, dad. Except not exactly. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Eh, it's someone, it's someone else. 
They say that relics were found in the ruins of the ancient gods. Do you happen to know where that is? Amateur. The real dad would know where that is. Where is she? Is she not here? There's a character I was trying to talk to. I don't know if she's like in this town's uh, pub or not. I would guess not if she's, you know, not Hello, here. Hello, motherfucker. Hello, Sordio. Welcome. We are playing the, uh, the, the 2009 remake of, I think, the 1990 uh, Final Fantasy Legend 2 that was out, made it for DS, but not released stateside, because of course it wasn't. Or do we need to do any... Oh, Cloud, yeah, Cloudy um, is a little damaged, but uh, we're gonna switch our formation a little. Since Cloudy's probably the most tanky now by a good margin, we're gonna swap these around a little. <clears throat> now we're a little robot in front. It's probably... It's probably how it's gonna be for a while, because... Yeah, robot, robots tend to be very powerful early game because you can just buy, like, decently cheap stuff. Stop, please. Please stop. Hey, what's happening? Why, you? Buzz off. <laughs> These horrifying flymen. <laughs> and now you get to see how busted these robots can be just early game. <clears throat> Stab. Dead. <laughs> carry me robot basically yeah it's like carry me robots and they, they, they can carry you pretty damn far are you okay She's so cute. I am called Calliope. Here's my way of thanks. 500 Muse points! I will depart now and go to my home. To the Muse's world. The Muse's world? Yes. Doot! <laughs> it's where, we're my, where we Muses live. That kind of world exists? If you're interested, be sure to visit. But how do we find the way? Our messenger angel is in various towns. He'll guide you to our world. I look forward to our next encounter. Yeah, the, the part, the, this aspect of the game with all these muses is something that was added in this remake. They added a lot of shit to this remake, like a lot of shit. So I'm, it's such a good remake. All right, we got some more enemies here. Uh, let's see. The most annoying thing is probably gonna be this jaguar, so we're gonna kill that first. Uh, for, for the most part, Hachiko's gonna do nothing except flame every once in a while, just cause... Hachiko's kinda... Yeah, Robot is destroying everything in its path. And I don't really care about using the Robot's stuff up, cause when we go to an inn, it'll all recover back to 25 anyway, so the Robot's good for just killing shit indiscriminately. <laughs> Okay, we got some meat that we're not gonna eat because we're sa we're saving ourselves for um, a, sp a specific monster meat going forward. Like in the se it's in the second uh, technically world. Let's see. We do have enough. We do have enough caro to buy another rapier already. And we do have a space for it, because we're going to want to keep one space open for a different weapon that we'll get later. It's like a submachine gun that hits groups of enemies, and it's very strong for the first, like, while. But we can afford to drop some more money on another rapier to make the robot even more of a fucking problem for the enemies. <clears throat> Don't really need to at this point, but you know... Best kind of kill is, you know, overkill, right? 21 agility. <laughs> and I can even add another one. If, if you, you can even have another one if we really wanted to, but 
As it currently stands, there's probably nothing in this world that can even really do much damage or pose a threat to the robot. Alright, and then we'll just go to the inn here. Inn's a little expensive now because it, it costs you uh, one HP recovered for one one Karo. Once once our Esper can get the Cure ability, that will make door we can use Cure before we go to the inn and basically recharge stuff for basically free. But we could probably travel away from town now and kind of go around to fight some more enemies. Rape here on the Jaguar. Longsword. As you can see, our robot is just just doesn't take damage now. Oh yes, strength increased, max HP increase. Yeah, the level ups are random. <laughs> Calliope gave an evaluation, 18 MP. Yes, yeah, so depending on like what muses you like unlocked and discovered, they'll get they might give you different um, MP for doing different things in battle. I want to say Calliope's is from like just like. Doing well in battle, I want to say. I can't remember. Oh, you can chain battles together as well, which, I mean, it's not really adding an awful lot, but... <clears throat> Alright, let's see how this plays out. Well, <laughs> stab! Most of them are gonna attack the robot anyway. Most of them, I say. Oh come on! Yeah, unfortunately, if you have low M if you have low um, speed, your um, ability to hit things with strength weapons is you, you can miss, and that's not very much fun. Like frankly, the way the way everything's des designed. Um, Ooh, getting some good level ups though. The way things are designed, uh, speed weapons are much, much better than strength weapons just because the stat that they use for damage also determines hit rate, so they're like more likely to hit anyway, as long as they're raising the skill. It's it's not it's a it's a little broken, it's a little flawed. We'll use up we'll use up that uh, potion. And if you if you chain battles together like that, you can get a more um Caro and stuff from your fights at the risk of you know there being like a million enemies instead of just like oh okay kill you chop you and then cold wave Probably not gonna kill the Jaguars. No, they have a little bit more HP than that. <clears throat> All right, cool. Yeah, if anything, those bigger- I don't know if those bigger battles have, like, a higher chance to, um, give you stat level ups or not, but... Excuse me, random people, hello. As long as Mother Akai is here, Ashura can't do anything. What kind of person is Ashura? Ashura is not a very good person, we'll just say that. Um... <laughs> hello, little fairy. There are many more worlds in existence next to this one. Next to this world lies the desert world ruled by Ashura. Beyond that lies the world of the giants. Right, and here's Mother Kai. Who has healing powers. Let's get those wounds healed. There, all done. Do you happen to know anything about relics? You mean how to collect all the relics? Are you planning on becoming a new god? 
Incorrect. Mobus's father disappeared while searching for the relics. That's why we want to find out more about them. Hmm, is your father that dashing gentleman who carries a whip? <laughs> Stop hitting on my dad! <laughs> or maybe he was just in a hurry, maybe that's why he was dashing. Where is he? He came wandering in here one day, asked about around about the relics. He wandered off shortly after that and I haven't seen him since. Uh oh. Ah, wait. He said that there are relics hidden within the ruins of the ancient gods. To the west of this temple are rocky cliffs, and to the south of that lies a forest. If we bring this relic to this forest, the entrance to the ruins will surely be revealed. Thank you, I'll go check it out. In the original game, it was just a, it was just a certain forest tile that you had to step on that took you inside the ruins. But they can't really translate that accurately, I think, to 3D, so they probably made it to where, I think they probably made it to where you just have to have this for it to uh, be visible, maybe? I don't know. It's just, it's, it's surprise, it's not su super simple to just translate to a 3D. Alright, I am back. My really showing me the idiot bullshit that our cats are up to. <laughs> Alright, let's get some stat- let's try to get some stat ups here. Probably just go back and inside and uh, we can just go back inside and heal with uh, Kai. We might as well. I don't want to use up the potions before we need them because unfortunately our uh, Esper has not uh, learned cure yet, which is not a guarantee. But you know, it's one of those things. I'm gonna try to avoid fights until um, we get into the place to kind of conserve our uh, resources and the like. Since we don't have the cure spell yet, our healing resources are limited to what we just, what we bought earlier, which isn't an awful lot. <clears throat> it might seem like it is, but it's really not that much. You could probably buy some more. Cause there's another town up that away. You can see it in the distance. Mm, it's 
probably a good idea to do that. And buy like a few more potions just We can also go to the inn and restore our um, abilities and robot weapons and the like. Since we just healed up a Kai for free, we can now use the end for free because it doesn't just. They're like, oh, you're not hurt. Well, you can just sleep here, I guess. Better society than better society than we have. Alright. Now this place is the place that sells the machine gun I was talking about. We can just look at it, but we're not gonna be able to afford it yet. Not, not, not even close. Like the the submachine gun there is the what we're gonna be trying to buy for Cloudy. At some point before we leave this world, because it's a it's a it's a useful item to have. Let's go to the item shop though. Let's see if we can buy some more potions. Okay, we can buy we can buy more potions. I was worried because I remember there being high potions here, but I wasn't so sure about. I don't want to say low potions because that that seems weird. See how many item spots do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight spots left. That's probably fine. Um, we're actually gonna equip the. Um, actually, no. You don't get. You don't get that. Let's give this. To, let's give the bow to you because agility is a little bit more impactful than um, strength is for espers because that you know turn order etc. And there's items called uh, whips that roll damage based off your strength, but can give you agility levels. So that's what we'll be using on uh, Mobus when we find one. I think we can find one in the ruins we're about to go to. So, you know, that, that just works out pretty nicely. Okay, we'll just move these potions up top. And, and the long sword and hammer are in case uh, Mobus runs out of sword uses, because. Weapons have durability in this game. In the, and in the original sequel to this, well, it's not sequel in the sense of like the story continues, but it's like the, the Saga 3, in the original Saga 3 on, um, jeez, that's a lot of enemies. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna fight this and see how this goes. Jesus Christ, that's a, that's a few. All right, let's see, who should we kill first? We got a toad. Robe. Um, long sword. We'll do that against the robber. You just do cold wave because there's just a lot of shit. All right. Dead. Tongue. Okay, that's not very threatening. That's also not very threatening. I think the toad was weak to ice. I just realized it got like one shot by cold wave. <laughs> Alright, nice. Max HP increase. More meat that I'm not gonna eat. And that 261 caro. That's like. I don't know what percentage of that is for that machine gun, but that's a, that was a pretty good uh, amount of, um... Eh, we're fine. We'll just continue on towards the, uh, place. I'm not gonna go back in there and heal just for that. Yeah, these overworld enemies are, are not quite as, uh, powerful as some of the ones that we'll find in the, um... in the, the ruins. There's some, there's like, I think the, the group, and enemy groups can be a little more, more dense and there's some different enemies. And I think over here is where we gotta go. Oh no, it's still just a, it, it still is just a random forest tile. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, I'm the messenger of the muses. I came to invite you to a secret world that only a select few know about. A secret world? Right, a secret world. The choice is yours. 
Come on, come on. You coming? Sure. I thought so. Come to the gardens where the muses live. There she is. I've been waiting. Where are we? This is the world where we, we muses live. I'll be in the garden inside that gate. Gate? Yes, each gate will be made visible only when the muses return to this world. That gate leads to the garden I live in. I'm heading back to the garden. Please come visit me sometime. Alright, well, you have a nice little garden. Hello. How nice of you to visit. I admire those heroes who gallantly dispatch foes with ease. Yeah, they, when you talk to them, they kind of give you a hint at how to get their um, muse points. I need to talk to this little critter. Hey, it seems you have enough MP to qualify. Do you know the goddesses of fate? They rule over fate from their castle of fate and watch over the fate of people. You can't always reach that moving castle, but I can send you since it's so close. Sure. Yeah, like, all this stuff with the muses and the goddesses of fate was added in this remake, and... It, it can be impactful to the, um, not only, I think it can be impactful not only to normal combat, I think the final boss might also change depending on how much you do this stuff. Like, they, they, it, they didn't just, like, kind of, like, squirt out a remake, they, they made a remake. Uh, let's see, I think it's this one that's active right now. My goodness. It's an unusual thing for a visitor to be in this kind of place. Do you possess MP? That's also strange for you. Hope nothing bad can come of it. Ho 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 ho. Who are you? A ruler of fate, some would say. People are intertwined with each other when it comes to fate. Sometimes it's helpful, sometimes it's catastrophic. I am the allocator, Akesis. You're MP, are you not thinking about changing your fate? You can you can buy um you can buy these with MP and use them to uh, do different stuff. Oh, no, just a friend one. You can use these to like have stronger attacks. No, fate can't be changed. Well, it's one or the other. <laughs> Thanks. You have to use links. Links occur when a partner has a thread of fate. Press X when the link panel appears on the screen to use the thread of fate and invoke the link. With the link, you perform a more powerful attack in damage and range. Also, the relationship with the partner changes, as does the team title, depending on the threat of fate. Some team titles open up different events. So let's find all the events. Yay, events. A, a, a bajillion events. And off we go. Coffee. Can't remember how we leave. Oh. I think you can go to the Castle of Fate one, like once with this little critter and then they just send you back to the previous world. Alright, off we go! <laughs> Alright, so now we're in B Dungeon. Well, not big, big, but big. Lizard. Lizard. Five newts. Turn me into a newt. A newt. I got better. <laughs> I can't remember if you can only get one stat up per battle or if you can get multiple. We're gonna find out. Well, we might, I guess, depending on if it actually rolls the stat ups. See, that, that, like, that's kind of how those things work, like, if characters are are doing something. I don't know if it has to, like, certain compatibility things or not, but, like, yeah, they, they give you a nice power boost. Oh, hello. And I think depending on your team title, some events play out differently or just are differently available. <clears throat> I, I will be completely honest, I have no idea exactly how that all works. <laughs> so 
So we're just kind of playing the ninja game. I'll try the bow and see if, um... I think originally in the, the OG game you could only get one stat up per battle, but maybe they changed that. I'll keep trying until we find out. Eh, well, alright. <laughs> you get nothing! I think it was in the next area of this place that some event thing happened. Oh, wait, heard some noise. Yep, it was up, it's up here. Let's see what's happening. It's a little cheerleader looking girl. Hey, Mel isn't here. Mel must have run the other way from that monster. So we're gonna search these ruins. If you find Mel, tell. <laughs> Great. I'm like 90% sure that's one of the muses. <laughs> Just wandering around this ruin all by herself. Alright. And I think there's a chest near with a whip. I wanna say. Ah! Yep, there's a whip. Let's equip let's equip the whip. <laughs> Probably try to use that a little bit to get some more uh Long, a long strap that can knock down and even stop movement when it strikes an enemy. Yeah, you can, you get, there's a chance to stun an enemy and stop them from attacking with the whip too, which I don't know exactly when that procs or why, but <laughs> you know, oh, we got a bunch of fly men. Man, I, I don't really need to do anything with the robot. Uh, let's do whip and bow. <clears throat> These flies are not very threatening. They, I don't think they can do any damage to us whatsoever. Well, good job. Let's try, the, let's try that again. Fast forward for this. <laughs> okay, I, th I, th I think Hale is able to finish off one of the flies with the bow, and now we're gonna try. We're gonna use fire. Can be useful seeing the turn order here. Agility increased. Well, at least we got A stat up. These flymen fights are also really good money. <laughs> so, very happy to fight them because if I really want, I could just wipe them all out with one spell and just take the money. And Noki Mimic. Okay. Alone. I think the bow just kind of does a random amount of damage between like a lower limit and kind of like an upper limit. Okay, no stat ups that time, that's fine. Frankly, for this like first bit of the game, like the monster is not gonna be really changing much until we get to world two. monster ends up getting, like, hit. And yeah, it doesn't really matter all that much.
Oh, that was a little underwhelming. Just like one enemy. <laughs> oh, kitty. like to get the the 6400 like 6800 uh caro before we leave here but i guess that will entirely depend on how what kind of groups of stuff we find cuz like the little singular groups of enemies don't really give us an awful lot I don't really mind if uh, Hachiko gets taken out in these fights, because we're not going to be giving the monster meat to them anyway, quite yet. So they don't really need to survive the fight. Strength increase. Well, we got one increase. It's good that we're getting some of those increases now, because there are some, like, times where you're playing this and, like, you just don't get level ups for a while, and it can be tedious. You just gotta grind a whole bunch. Uh, let's avoid you. Go. Oh, it's a trap! We're locked in! You must beat us in battle with the door wide open! Out, it's a newt and a goblin. Okay. Goblin is within kill range of the. Oh, all right, that works. That would be given an evaluation. I want to say, like, if you kill enemies without taking damage, Calliope is more likely to give you the eval for more MP. No! <laughs> Yeah, these um, lizards can still do a decent amount of damage, so we're probably gonna finish them off all in one go with Cold Wave. Because that's their weakness, so they should just die pretty instantly. Yeah, they're gone. Agility increase. Nice. Still, the, the jury's still out on if they can get more than one stat up per battle. I want to say yes, but been a minute since I played this, so I can't really remember for sure. If I know these little groups like this because they might be flymen. Yes! <laughs> like seven of them. Alright, we're gonna fast forward this. There's just a lot of flymen.
Poor little Hatsuko taken too soon. Max HP. Well, that's fine. That's useful. Not never not gonna ever really complain about getting more HP, because yeah, it's nice to have more HP in general. Especially since we don't currently have the cure spell on Hail there. This kid, it's this kiddo again. Eh? Nice to see you again. Mel can't be found. Gotta go back the same way and search again. Okay, we're gonna loop around here and go to grab this. We'll fight this. It might be, it might be more flymen. Yes, it is. You, you love to see that. I love, I love me some free money, basically. And even some stat-ups here and there, too. It's pretty nice. Alright, fast forward. Oh. I might need to give Hale something that's not that bow to try to get some agility with. It's like, that's just not working. Yeah, whatever. Strength increased, HP increased. Well, that's useful at least. How much HP does Mavis have now? 158? It's not bad. Friends! They're best fronds. Good for them bitches. Ooh, we got another potion. Okay. I mean, do we need to use a potion right now? I think we're some some of us are a little din dinged up. Oh. I'll just use that potion up. Might as well. Now we're all full HP. I might have oh, might have went a little overboard on the healing stuff. That's okay. Oh, kitty. Beak. Alright, you finally get to do something, Cloudy. You get to you get to murder. You get you get to do more Dorana on a Jaguar. More Dorana. Shit. If with the whip, freaking Mavis can just like one shot stuff. I think these skeletons are resistant to weapons, so they might be able to survive the sword hit. Yeah, hopefully they'll. Oh, you can get more than one. You just got HP and agility. The agility is more so the murder. <laughs> The agility is more so that uh, Mavis can keep hitting with uh, st with strength weapons more accurately, because, yeah, otherwise you st start running into the problem of your strength characters just missing a whole bunch on stronger enemies, because they, they have higher agility, they have a higher chance of, like, dodging, maybe? I don't know. They don't really ever explain this shit ever anywhere, so it's all just a matter of, like, looking it up, <laughs> basically. Try to find some of these fly men because they're just good money for like no work really. Can't quite kill the newt. And, well, yeah. I think it, I think that means if the RNG rolls just right, uh. Mavis here by doing these things could get like three different level ups in one fight if the if the numbers all roll just correctly of like just RNG or whatever. I need to get something other than this fucking bow. It's just not hitting anything. 
You know what? Screw it. Just cold wave. Get him out of here. Go on, get out of here. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Yeah, the the, the uh, OG game on Game Boy had random encounters and a, a pretty uh, aggressive um, random encounter rate at that. So I will I will count my fucking blessings that this game has um, actual like skippable encounters if you're good enough at the game per se. Now there are people that do that play these this game and the original game as with like nothing but like four robots. It's a pretty um infamous like speedrunning kind of deal. <laughs> to try doing that. In the original it can be a little flawed because in the original game robots don't have any way of getting uh spirit or mana or whatever the equivalent would be. But in this game, there are like certain equipment things you can equip on robots to give them spirit. Because spirit determines your damage with magic, the damage you take from magic, and also might you heal from stuff like cure or whatever. So it can be really useful to have a robot with that stuff. But in the OG game, you really couldn't. Because there's not any equipment that increases that when they equip it. Probably an oversight, I would imagine, but you know. It, it was it's also it was also a, a, an RPG on the Game Boy in the 90s, so you kind of have to give it a little bit of a leeway. I'm not giving up on this bow just yet. I'm trying my best to uh, get some stat ups with it, but it's <laughs> it's a little rough. Continue to like just do uh, stuff. Well, at least Mobus is growing. <laughs> yeah, I want to do my best to get all these muses unlocked. I don't know if it's really that important, but I'm sure there's probably something that happens when you do. Oh, where's Mel? Maybe Mel's gone ahead home. Okay, Polly gonna try to get home too. She is very cute. That's right. Didn't tell you Polly's name. Pol Polinia. Gonna give you this, so if you find Mel, tell Polly. She's like an idol. <laughs> it's kind of like what she, her like design reminds me of. It's like an idol for like all those like idol anime or whatever. If Bell isn't home, I'll search again. Like, I don't know how old, like, all those idol animes and stuff are, but this, like, this remake came out in 2009, so I can imagine it was starting to get more popular than which would probably be why they gave this character this design. Oh, kitty. Let's fight him. Alright, more, 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 darter. Stab the cat, stab the cat. Whip the skeleton. Shoot the spider. Or daddy long legs. No, you're not a spider anymore, you're a daddy long legs. Get it together. Damn, the skeleton's dead. More meat. Meat. Polinia gave a evaluation. Thank you. I'm just fighting everything at this point, because if we really want to, we could just wipe the, the group. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to do a long sword hit and then cold wave just to get rid of them, because that could be a lot of damage if we're not careful. Like a lot of damage. That could probably like kill some people. Or we can just use one spell and wipe them all out and instantly. And some more Karo. How much do we have now? I've just not really been paying attention. Oh, 3700. 
like 3k more and we'll be able to buy that machine gun. <laughs> so yeah, let's just keep on keeping on. Smart. Miss. <laughs> Zero. Zero. <laughs> Cloudy's a fucking literal tank. <clears throat> oh, I was gonna expect that to actually die. Oh. Do it! Do the thing! Oh, free longsword. Yeah, the um, the Ashigarus can drop longswords, even though they use Wakasashis. Don't question it. In the original game, they did use longswords. Not sure why they changed that, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Oh, you suck. You can't even hurt Hachiko. It's a little critter. Oh, it's a good thing we just got another longsword, because this one's about to break in our hand, like, in our hands. Actually, no, that one's not. I think we used a sword last time, so we'll use a uh, whip now. Try to, try to, t to diversify our uh, stat gains. Okay. Well, now I'm just cross. Polinia gave a evaluation. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Lizard. Maybe it's with another big group of newts. Not a super big group of newts, but now this long sword will break. I'll just murder one real quick. Oh, we actually killed that one off. Nice. <clears throat> Fire! Yeah, I think they made the newts slightly stronger than they were in the older game. HP-wise. I want to say they maybe had like 50 something HP in the old game, just because the only way you can really know is because you can like, if you just normally just feed your monsters with Reckless Abandon, you can get like changed between all the like little enemy types, and whatever HP they have should be the same as the actual monster you fight too, give or take. There might be some little variances with HP, because a lot of older RPGs have that. Or like, enemies that take either a little more or maybe a little less HP to, to actually feet. Okay. Yep, that long sword is broken. That's fine. Still trying to gain a skill up from this fucking bow. If it hits at all. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll probably just go get, like, a rapier or something. Yeah, this whip has come, come super in clutch for Mavis to gain some agility. It will, it will keep him hitting going forward as we get a little bit more of it. Owie, ooh, I didn't realize you were that low, low of HP. Uh, do I need to... Nah, uh, nah, and just a little wave, because I think we actually hit with the bow.
sleep. Ugh, great. I mean, it's that's cool, but like, I would much rather have learned cure. Yeah. I'm gonna move that down because I don't really care for sleep. So the way it works is you're 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 uh not mutant. Your Esper can have four of these abilities. And the one that's on the bottom slot, like in this case it would be sleep, once this gets filled in with something else, will be replaced whenever it's time to learn a new one. Alright, let's go ahead and use some more potion stuff here. I mean, we're almost out of the dungeon, but Mabus has got like, f like fucking no HP. And a surprisingly high amount of HP. I just noticed, like 182, that's a pretty good amount for the first world. I'll keep him. I'll keep him alive for a while. Nothing. Sward. Spell that blocks nerve reception to the brain. I'll show you nerve reception. Chop. Blast. Long sword handling skill increased. Oh yeah, for, that's something else they added. They added like weapon skill like things, I think. They added a lot to this fucking remake. Wonder where do you see that at? I don't know where you would see that at. <laughs> like, I'm trying to... Uh, maybe threat to... No, that's not it. Not map abilities. Hmm. Player notes? No, probably not there. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna turn that back off. Um, yeah, I have no idea how do you see those things in particular. So we're not gonna worry about it. We'll just keep swinging. Swords are generally pretty, pretty good anyway. Pretty good type of weapon for your strength users anyway. So it's not a big. It's not the end. Of, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a positive thing. I'm trying to say, I, I guess. I don't know if weapon, ha weapon handling like makes you less likely to miss or what the deal is. I imagine it's maybe what they did is made it where like if, if your weapon ha handling goes up with a certain kind of weapon you like miss less. I don't know. I just don't know. I've not really looked into it. Plus it's something new in the remake, so I'd have to like just hunt down information for it. These are. <laughs> okay, you already used both your things, so I'm gonna have you do nothing and fire again. Hail needs just a little bit more spirit to be able to like one shot most of these enemy groups with fire. Which would be nice, it's just for ease of grinding. Although, um, Cold Wave would have ended all those enemies anyway. Okay, we need to find this. Come. Kamaitachi Sickle. Demolish. <laughs> With that twink obliterated. <laughs> I think someone's coming. Quick, let's blow up the relics. Run, people, run. Those guys are relic thieves. They must be the ones working for that guy, Ashura. Uh-oh. Empty box. Empty. Empty. Uh, anything over this way? I think that's where we came from. There's probably nothing over here either, but we'll check anyway. No! Oh, rude! Rude ass. <laughs> okay, 
it's still our enemies. How much damage would he even take? Um, well, enough to... <laughs> enough. Mm. I, mean, I probably need to use up some of those potions anyway. <laughs> Frankly, because I bought a lot. Fly claws. Because that's exactly what I think of when I think of flies. I think they just have like claws. They're kind of they're kind of disturbing looking. They got like their eyes on their like fly snout. It's kind of fucked up. If I wanted, I could have my, uh, have Mabas just use agility weapons. Like, I totally could, but I want to use strength. Speed crystal? Mmm, delicious. Magic crystal. This is like something you buy at the fucking gas station. Power crystal. <laughs> Power crystal definitely sounds like something you buy at a gas station. It's like in those little packets that they sell kind of like on the side of like the counter. It's like horny goat weed. <laughs> Shit like that. Hurry, open the door! Coffee drinking ASMR. The slurp, and then the, the cup drop. And there are some doors in, the, in this game where if you don't have a certain amount of relics, they won't open. So you have to kind of like explore around and grab all the stuff. Or they're just there to kind of like gate off progression. <clears throat> Deceased. Yeah. Not quite dead yet. <laughs> we are guardians. We came to protect the relics from the dangerous ambitions of Ashura, but his minions came and stole the relics away from us. Ugh. Let's go talk with Kai. Oh yeah, the backyard. The, ru the ruins of ancient gods. The backyard. <laughs> it's just a funny concept to me that like, you know how like your house has like a backyard? So does the, so does the ruins of the ancient gods. Let's go. We're gonna go in here and try to grind up a bit more money on the flies. Because there should be... They should spawn on this floor. And then we can just like leave pretty easily too. Let's see... Not exactly what I was looking for, but it'll do. running around looking for flies mostly just because those those enemy types tend to kind of have a large amount of enemies I mean the goblins are pretty okay um, try sword and we'll do bow and then we'll probably do um, cold wave second turn I'm just trying to sprinkle in bow shots so we can may have maybe have hail get a little bit of agility but if Hale's not gonna able, be able to get much agility from that, then we'll just kind of not ever do it again, and we'll just focus entirely on spirit. Which is probably smarter to do anyway, because the main damage output for espers is through their spirit abilities. There are also spell books you can buy that have like durability that are more are stronger than their natural spells too, so it's kinda like that's not too bad either. There are also weapons that directly use spirit instead of like agility or strength or whatever as well. They're like psychic, like knives or whatever. Pretty cool concept. And we'll just keep on keeping on. Just trying to get that 6800 uh, Karo. Fuck. 
fangs for the memories. <laughs> All right, so 4,900. I was really hoping to find some more flies as opposed to these meats and shit, but I guess we'll just kind of have to make a deal. <clears throat> Good opportunity to get, like, um, get stat-ups, though. Largely for Mobis, because Mobis is just doing, like, making some good progress right now. <clears throat> Admittedly, uh, Esper's level up a bit slower anyway. It's kind of part of their design. Stun. Recover from stun. No! One damage! How could you? Well, I guess we're gonna be doing this for a few turns. We're probably gonna make a pit stop at the other, that first town that we were able to go to and buy a, like a rapier or a punch or something, because this bow is awful. Very inconsistently, it doesn't really do that much damage either, so it's not really worth our time. Okay, here's an enemy. Let's... Come on, give me some flies. No, <laughs> you're not flies. Oh, it's more nothing. I'm getting a lot of use out of this, um. Whip though. Ouch. Esper class changed to attack. I think that's something else they have is like just Esper like classes where it'll be more likely to get abilities of that kind or like that type than otherwise. Again, I should probably look into the into a lot of the stuff that they did with the remake because a lot of it's a little obtuse otherwise. It's like, what does that mean? <laughs> Well, pretty soon we're gonna have to go back to town to recover our Esper friend's abilities. Cause like one, like one cold wave left. It's not super um, usable. Agility increase. We're just getting more agility than. Yeah, I think Esper's just getting other stats other than Spirit slower, so maybe it's not worth our time to really do much more agility right now. Damn it, I didn't want to go back in. I'm too good at entering hidden places. No! <laughs> Please, just let me leave. Ugh, okay. <laughs> I, can't, I, I kept turning the camera and I kept like moving it back to where I'd run right into it again. Got some robbers. Thankfully, these robbers are completely harmless at this point. Can't even hurt Hachiko. Yeah, this bow is not worth our time. Maybe things would go a little better with the rapier. I will try it, but I'm not convinced. Oh, actually, punch. I think those can increase agility as well. And they start pr they start basically useless, but that's kind of how the bow is anyway, so... Fuck it, whatever. But 
but as far as I'm aware, yeah, um, the, like, the, the martial arts moves, um, can it give you agility level ups. They start really weak, but they get stronger as they, their uses deplete, and then the last few hits are strong, and then the last hit's really strong. You can save that for, like, boss fights and stuff if you're just grinding a whole bunch. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, might as well. Scab! Our murder robot ha hasn't done much murdering lately. <laughs> I think that zero counts as hitting. Wounds that are me. 20 care another punch. Thanks, Calliope. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, I guess. Let's see, we have 5,600. Mm. Might just have to fight some, we might just have to fight some big combo battles near town. We'll fight some here. If I run into them or near them or whatever. Again, Mordor! Basically, those two enemies are the only ones that can even really do anything to anyone in my party right now, so yeah. Trying. Although pretty soon we're gonna have to we're gonna have to definitively just go to the uh let's see, let's kill off the Jaguar and this goblin. Two enemy types that can really do too much to us, anyway. The rest of them are pretty harmless. I can't really complain because the HP is just gonna be nice in general, but like like there's a def there's a definite measurable difference in leveling rate of uh oh, okay. I guess they don't have to be red to be combo -able. Stab. Well, we only got cold way left, so let's just do that. Time to mortar. Okay, you're out of those. Just you sleep. 
it's not gonna matter. You're gonna be last anyway. Oh, he got some HP. That's better than nothing. <laughs> Although you didn't have to use the punch to do that, so whatever. Anyway, let's go to town. If there's another fight. We'll probably just have. We'll we'll just have uh, hail you sleep. More dirt. I guess. Stab. <laughs> Smart. Oh, it actually hit. I wasn't really expecting that to actually hit. Okay, then we'll do a punch, and we'll probably just have the robot finish the battle afterwards. Gotta sprinkle in those uh, chances to get stat ups of every kind that we can think of. That's the only way we're gonna get stronger is by just getting the stat ups. Agility increased, max HP. Well, you know what? That's fine. I, w I won't complain. More more agility for the strength character. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if maybe you can only get like one of these kind of stat ups per level. It's starting, to, it's starting to feel like that, because I mean, look, 12 agility. <laughs> That's frankly probably enough for now. Or maybe we'll just use the whip up and then won't worry about it for a while going forward. How much carry do we have? 6,200? We'll, we'll go to the end, and then we'll just kind of grind out the rest of the money for the, for the submachine gun. <laughs> Fifty caro for full robot weapons and such. <clears throat> All right. Oh, uh, <laughs> three enemies. My brain wanted to say like several inappropriate things for this, but you know, it's like oh, three. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, you're gonna use fire and kill all those jaguars immediately, because that's annoying. You might not be fast enough. You haven't got, you haven't got any agility boosts there, Hale. <laughs> Yeah, another, another good thing about having the SMG is that um, Cloudy will be able to just kind of end fights when I don't want to waste any more moves from other people. Because the robot's moves, like, whenever they equip an item, its durability gets halved, but it can be replenished at an end. The trade-off there. So it'll be, it'll be useful to have... Uh, See, the punch is starting to do a little bit of damage now that some uses have been gone through with it. Ooh, another longsword. Sweet. Wait, did we kill something out of a longsword? What? I, I don't really remember what we even just fought, but... Oh, let's find another cluster of enemies and try to them to all fight me at the same time. Cause it'll, sa it'll save time when we're just able to wipe them all out anyway. Okay, you're gonna clobber that, I guess, and whip. Uh, 
I have a feeling they might have made it to where you can gain HP and a attribute per battle, but maybe not like more than one attribute per battle, if that makes sense, because HP is probably just like separate. It'd be in our best interest not to like double down like I've been trying to do, because that probably just wastes durability and stuff. Okay, six. Uh, one more like decent like multi battle. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, the enemy groups on the on the world are pretty small compared to what I was fighting in that one uh, place. Not very dangerous either. They can, they can, some of them can still do damage or whatever, but, you know. That's another thing about monsters, they do, also don't get random stat ups, so you can just kind of use them to help kind of clean up battles as well. Like that. More meat. 30, 134. Is that enough? Probably not. Not quite. Well, let's head back to the town, probably find another fight along the way anyway. Yep, that'll work. Let's buy this machine gun and change our lives for the better. It'll help, it'll help us with grinding money too, because we'll just be able to mow down tons of enemies pretty quickly. Let's see, some machine gun. What else is there? Sacred Prayer Tome, a book of rites which compels the undead to return to your place of rest in Valhalla Palace. Yep, sure. Uh, gun 187. It's like a rocket arm or something, but yeah, this this is good, because it, um, is capable of taking out entire groups. That is exactly what we want. Okay, so now let's upgrade Cloudy. Even more, e even bigger than before! Let's see. No stat ups, but it'll give us some HP. Like another, like, 45 HP for just having a, a, a machine gun arm. <laughs> and we're gonna move this to the top, <laughs> because we're, we're gonna be using it quite often. Like, if there's just enemies in the way that I don't feel like dealing with, I'll just probably just mow them down and... As the game progresses, we'll probably find other similarly useful weapons that do, like, kind of, like, set amounts of damage. Well, it's a good thing we had a bit... I didn't really... <laughs> I'm glad we had enough money left over to go to the end, because I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> I was just like, oh, let's go to the end. Calculated. Totally. Trust me. Um, <laughs> like, like I'll, I'll, oh, I was hoping to fight that spider thing, too, but... Yeah, let, we're going to just showcase our machine gun now. Just really just did it to him. Okay. 
Another longsword. I mean, that's like extra money if you really need it, but... Frankly, that, um... That machine gun was like the main thing we were trying to save up for anyway, so I'm... We're not really going to be spending that much more money at the moment. We could try to grind up some money to save up for some uh, mithril gloves that they were selling in that first town, but that's completely unnecessary. They'd be really good to buy for the for Cloudy because that would give because like like a tier of armor gives the same amount of defense for to a robot regardless of what like item it is. So like gloves usually give the lowest amount of defense, but as far as the robot carries, they're wearing mithril armor, so they'll get like this, the full bonus from like the actual armor piece or whatever, like a chest plate or whatever. Like, let me see, see if I can explain a little better. If, like if we look at um. Bronze armor. Oh wait, no, it's not the case that they'll get the full armor, but like, they, their armor is like the same as like the mid, like, if you see here it says like Mecha Defense 2 for gloves. I think it means that helmets give the same, like, if they have gloves, they're gonna get 2 defense for bronze gloves, instead of 1, which is the same as the helmet, so I think like, they get like, every piece of armor they equip is treated as the mid-tier piece for that tier of armor, like, helmet, I guess, in that case. But those gloves would be really, would be even more busted on the robot than the other people, although they would really help them too. But we're not gonna do that. Let's get those wounds healed. Yep, all zero damage. They're all done. Actually. What? You sure his minions stole the relics? Yes. We move now to reclaim the relics. I'll come with you. It is my duty to protect this world from Ashura. Kai joined the team. She is another guest character. Most of the guest characters in this game are a little OP. In some way or the other. For example, let's look at her stats here. Her HP is not super high. But her stats are higher than basically ours. The only one that's kind of close is Mabus here. <clears throat> But yeah, she's got a battle hand, which is fine. Her tones, though, are very strong. Like, she, she can just lay waste to groups with this Thunder Tone. We're probably going to try to use up all of her stuff to get just extra money and, like, stat ups and all that kind of jazz. Just might as well, because once she leaves the group, we won't have access to her abilities anymore. So we might as well use them all up. One Jaguar. <laughs> big, big ass Mama Kai, Mama Kai with the big ass hammer. See, I don't know if she's like actually older or if she just has like gray hair. Because sometimes young anime characters just have gray hair because, you know, <laughs> reasons. So I don't really know what her her actual age is. But people call her Mother Kai, so she's probably a little probably a little older. I would I would wager at least. I want to use up this whip. Eh, should probably go buy another one from this because we can buy those at this uh, town's weapon shop. Uh, probably need to fight a few more battles though. We did. We do have some extra long swords we can sell, but I'm gonna hold on to those because at a certain point, once we go forward, we won't be able to buy long swords anymore because they'll just be not on. They won't be on like the stores, like tables of stuff to buy. So I want to hold on to at least a few so we can continue just training strength on the cheap. Because otherwise, you just kind of have to um, spend money on more expensive stuff. That, th that admittedly, those long swords do, um, do, like, damage based off of your stats, like, certain, like, a multiplier. Like, it doesn't show it on this, um, screen, but there's, like, a certain, um, multiplier that stuff does uh, for, based on your stats. A 
another long sword. Well, we could probably just sell that. Because I was saying, oh yeah, well, I want I want some long swords, but I think we got a few, quite a few. Like, let's look at our our items bag. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're gonna equip some of these onto Nava's here, just so we can have them, and then the ones that are left over I'll probably just sell. Like, we'll just equip all these. For now. And we're gonna buy another whip to replace this one because it's been very useful getting the agility stat up. Which will keep Mabus hitting plenty. What's going on in here? It's probably the storage character that they want us to talk to. Huh? Who am I? I'm the free warehouse man. I'm a taking care of warehouses. Sure thing. I'll be glad to take care of y'all's folks' luggages too. The way y'all deposit into this warehouse is easy. Works just like equipment items. Y'all can drop off your items at the warehouse. Fetch out the items from before, but I'm not accepting any event items. I got in an awful mess of taking care of once. Accepting for event items, I'll take care of everything. We'll store some of these. For later. I think we have enough, well, I think we can get enough care from selling like the random scraps of weapons and shit to buy the um, whip. I also kind of wanted to buy a rapier here, but I think the punch can raise agility as well, and we'll just kind of use some of that on hail as we kind of go around it. We'll sell this battle hammer. Punch. Of course, we're like one. Arrow short. I mean, I could probably just sell the um, the, two, the two durability whip for like one caro to buy a new one. Which, eh, fair enough. Oh, that sells for ten. Even even what a steal. Oh wait, they don't sell whips here. They used to. Hmm. Maybe you just can't buy whips anymore. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, maybe in that case I should buy a rapier. Or something. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I guess so. If I'm not going to be able to buy a, another whip for... I'll uh, just buy a rapier instead. And if I feel like I need to... Um, raise his agility more, then we'll do that. But otherwise, it's back to, back to longsword and... Alright, cool. That's the only reason I came here is to buy buy a whip, but we ended up uh, not doing that. Just <laughs> because they don't ex the shop doesn't stock them. In the original game, I think it did, which is probably why I thought it did in this game, too. Because a lot of things are the same, but not all of them are. Some for the better, some questionably for the worse, maybe, but that's how remakes go. Sometimes the vision's a little different. For the game than it was back in 1990 <laughs> or whatever okay so now we're going to be going with Kot with mother Kai to sure his fortress in this uh, world here off this way. I think we got like something we can use with like, a map ability on. Yeah, demolish. Yeah, I think there's some things that we can activate it on to like break down walls and that kind of stuff. This is where we're supposed to go anyway, so maybe there's nothing here quite yet. I was thinking there was something, but maybe that's when we get a different relic. I will open this gate. Come on, let's go. 
Um, real quick though, we're gonna drop a save because I just haven't saved yet. Just in case the saving is not doesn't want to work, we're gonna also do a save state. And we'll make sure that the save state actually works. Okay, it does. Good. Cause some I've had some weird weirdness with um this with like this emulator actually saving states properly and stuff. You can get into a lot of fights in this place, because there's a lot of the enemies are kind of clustered together, so you can get into some pretty big fights, like this one's pretty big. Okay, I think we're gonna just try to focus on long sorting. Long sorting now. Do a cold wave, because that'll probably wipe out the mutes and maybe some of the jaguars. Not all the jaguars, that's okay though. Okay, now that they've done a move, let's have them do nothing. You do nothing and. We'll show off Thunder. Don't really need to on these skeletons, admittedly, so we'll use it on the Ashigaru. Yeah, it's pretty strong. It targets groups, but, you know. A group of one is still technically a group. <laughs> so. Yeah, you can you can get up a you can get a bunch of money here. I'd only be really fighting stuff to kinda get more stat ups anyway, but. If there's stuff in the way, I'll probably try to fight it just because we have all the extra abilities with Kai. Just fighting all these enemies all at once just probably saves time and you ah, oh, we didn't get the third lizard. Whatever. Okay, repair. Sword and we'll have you just do cold wave, because I'll probably kill the toads wholesale. There's the other lizard. Got the sword, and we'll do fire on these. I don't know if they're weak to it, but... Might be enough just to kill him anyway. More meat. If I didn't get all that money in the other place, it's definitely like the best place to just grind up more Karo. Because these enemies can be per these enemy groups can be pretty massive. In the original game, there's like these little walking zombie sprites that you could like talk to and just get into as many like forced random encounters as you wanted. That dude just cut me off. Rude. Yeah, look at the like seven of these like dudes here. We're gonna just, uh, blast them all away with... Nah, we'll, we'll have Kai use some of her, um... Some of her spell book. It'd be a shame to have it not be used up. And that group's gone! Just like that. A lot of Karo. Now we're not gonna really need much of yet, but I mean, we might as well grab, grab it. Fly man! It's the fly can! <laughs> I mean, it's not the end of the world if we don't end up using all of Kai's stuff, but it's just like. 
very useful to have her abilities. But I think we're strong enough at this point with these enemies where it doesn't really matter if he uses them all. Up. Maybe doing these fights individually would take slightly longer, but it'd be better for us to, for getting stat ups. Just singular enemy groups. Like this. Like the little like one-legged like victory dance the robot does. <laughs> Silly. Silly programming. Yeah, most of these fights aren't anything we haven't seen before, so we're just gonna kind of do kind of plow through them with the fast four, which is really nice that they added something like that to this remake. Because in the Game Boy version, when you couldn't do that, some fights just slogged on for a while, because you'd have, like, groups of, like, nine enemies, like, in one group, and, like, six in another, and just, it's just a lot to deal with. Now we can just kind of zip through it a little bit. Still no stat ups for hail in a while, but them's the breaks. Goblin. I guess the way the agility stuff works out is that Mobbles to move before Hail anyway, so it's fine. That, let, that lets us kind of plan out, make sure everyone gets moves, because Mobbles, for the most part, isn't going to have group hitting stuff for most of the game. So it gives, make sure that everyone that needs to get, get actions in for stat gains has the opportunity at the very least, because otherwise, the I think if they're in battle and survive, they have a chance to get HP, but otherwise they're not going to get, like, any boosts to their, um, just, like, their stuff in general. Like, they're not going to get spirit boosts or strength boosts or whatever. Not like you're getting all that much right now anyway, but I think as we get to higher enemy types, the chance for stat gains goes up in general. Blast the fuck out of him. Don't hit Hachiko, you rude ass. Oh, a strength boost. And another long sword. An agility source. These are very strong items that you save till the end of the game. Because what they do is they give you a, a, boost, a permanent boost of three agility when you use the potion. But as your stats as as your as your stats get higher, the leveling rate goes down a little bit. So it's best to use those like at the very end of the game if you possibly can. I mean, you can use them immediately for an immediate boost in like Jesus Christ, that's a bit that's a lot of it. <laughs> Oh, okay, we're gonna mow down some of these enemies with, uh... 
machine gun just because we don't see it as much. And then we're gonna have you do coal whips and wipe out all the newts and probably the goblins too. Yep. No stat ups, but we sure as hell got some Karo. 693. Yeah, that's a lot. It's pretty good. Thankfully, we don't have to buy more of those machine guns, because once, uh, once our robot pal here runs out of uses for it, we just go to an inn and they'll get re restored anyway, so it's, yeah, it's pretty low stakes. Like, once you equip a rob an item onto a robot, it's more or less kind of permanent unless you take it off again. Daddy, no! And I really wish Halo would be getting some more spirit boosts, because... Yeah, spirit directly determines how much damage... Fair, um... Ooh, gold gloves. Okay, let me see how much better those are... ...than bronze ones. Let's see, gold gloves... Give two to give two defense, but for robots to give six. So we're absolutely giving this to Cloudy here because that'll be way more useful on them than one of our other characters. So now any slight damage that the spiders or whatever were doing to us is probably just zero now. <laughs> Become an even greater force of destruction. I can't remember if there's a chest in this side either. It's a lot of the chest placement for these things is the same as, as it was in the, the Game Boy game. A lot, of the, a lot of the stuff is either the same equipment or like a similar piece of equipment. Just renamed or whatever. Okay, those are all dead. That is dead. They're all dead. Max HP, perfect. Another long sword. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm not gonna have to worry about buying those ever again. I'll probably just store as many of them as I can, just as for training purposes. Training porpoises. Can't keep those porpoises informed. <laughs> We have a battle axe. Maybe a good weapon to give to Mobus there. Okay, what do we have? A bunch, bunch of goblins. I like the little dance they do. Wow, 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 wow. Alright, let's, let's clob her up. I really need Hail there to get some spirit level ups. This is just not happening. Which is gonna be problematic in the future because then Hail just won't do enough damage to really kinda be as helpful against later enemies. I'm just gonna just sit here and just get bit a whole bunch for like not much of an effect. I mean the money's nice. But I really would like some stat ups, please, and thank you. Alright, the thing in there is where the uh, boss of this place is, so let's use some of Kai's cures. We haven't really had to use too many of them yet. Kai's cures sounds like some fucking like in like some like startup for like herbal fucking medicine or some shit. Well, you buy, like, fucking... Like, incense or whatever, or fusions or... I can't remember the what the name of it is, but it's, like, not real medicine, basically. 
Like, it's like one atom of, like, duck liver and, like, a bunch of water or some garbage like that. It's like, oh, this is gonna cure your cancer. No, it fucking isn't. Alright, let's fight this Let's fight this dinosaur. <laughs> I get to kill Kai and get rid of these pesky brats in one go. Die! Alright, uh, how about you blast some with the machine gun, you sword, you do, I think... Cold Wave does extra damage to you. You do nothing, and you do thunder, I guess. Oh! Whoops! It's dead. <laughs> yeah, the machine gun's a little strong. <laughs> You're too late. Most of the relics have already been sent to Lord Ashura. Long live Lord Ashura! And things just- A lot of things just explode in this game. We must have triggered some kind of self-destruct mechanism within the base. We have to hurry and get to that exit. You know, the one right in front of us, but we have to grab some uh, relics first. Giant's pickaxe. Excavate acquired. He needs to, be, to find some pretty nice stuff, I think. Fence relic. Fence crystal. Flame crystal. Flame Crystal is going to be a good one to equip to uh, Cloudy for the, the boss in the world, too. Which is Ashura. Not really much spoiler is saying that, because Ashura's world is next, so you're probably going to be fighting Ashura. Makes sense. That's a relief. But Ashura will become more powerful with those relics, and he will surely be back. We shall have to beat him before that. I think what we can do now is um, go to map abilities and uh, excavate. And I think things that we can excavate will appear on the mini map now. And we might, we might scamper around here before we leave World 1 and do stuff like that. Yeah, we kind of fast-forwarded through that boss, too. I feel a little bad about that. I meant to turn it off. But yeah, we just like basically one round killed that mini-boss. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta do it to him. Bonk! Good job. <laughs> I wanna say there's some stuff we can excavate on the map, but I can't remember if there's anything around here. I thought there was, but maybe I'm thinking of a different part of the map. I mean, if there was, it'd probably be, uh, like, one of these kind of, like, ends of the map. This isn't, like, the way- no, this isn't the way to get back out. Oh, yeah, it's a kitty. One jaguar. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> oh, you gotta level up finally. Didn't get to level up throughout the, enti like, the entirety of that fortress, but you gotta level up now. Uh, can't really complain. The level ups are very nice to have this early. We'll probably just end up having to grind a little bit. Um, I think we'll just worry about the excavating stuff next stream, like, like next Saturday, because like, yeah, I want to get to the next world and see if we can try to try to squeeze out getting the uh, the monster meat I'm looking for. Um, before the end of the stream. Oh, well, Kai's gone now. This is like the last, it's like the scene where she's like, "Okay, I'm going home. Farewell. You must remain in this world. I believe in you, Mabes. I'm sure, you will find your father. Thank you." 
<clears throat> yeah, this game has a lot of, like like a lot of cool like magical like technology kind of things. It's re I really like it. It's, it's kind of it's a little it's a little sci-fi mixed with the fantasy stuff. It's pretty awesome. I love I just love this game. This is the sky pillar. Wow, incredible! I can see Kai's temple from here. Can can me see home? <laughs> can me see home? Oh, me can see big islands over there. Those must be other worlds. This is the real world. And then we're up here in like the fucking cube sky fucking land. It's really funny though, cause like in the original game, everything's you know tile based, so like your character's the same size as all these tiles, but up here it's like massive. It's pretty cool. If you go to the muses place where I wanted to, but I'm not really that bothered to do that right now. I don't think we have enough stuff to go this way, so we get to go down now. I'm about to look up uh, the. to determine what monster you transform to be difficult to understand. Find the monster you currently are in the chart above. Find the number in the family column. Find the monster meat you're about to eat in the chart above. Find the number in the meat adjacent column. You can use either number. Add those numbers together. Next, you need to check for a type adjustment from the table below. So let's see. I think we are a... Um, Mini dragon. So type one. So that's numbers. That's C twenty. I think we're. I think we're an A class monster, which is like the highest. No, it looks like C. If I'm, I'm looking at this guide, right? It's kind of confusing. It's kind of really confusing, actually. This is just um, telling you all the different kinds of monsters. It's not really telling me much info, but that's like just the monster kind of beast area. Let's see. I think if I'm, if I think I'm looking at this correctly, if we look at, um, I would show this on screen, but it's just a lot. It's just like a big fucking table of shit. Um, so if, we, if we're if we're a sea monster, which is mini dragon, which is what we are, if we eat a B monster meat, um, we go, we don't lose. If we eat a A monster meat, we lose a monster tier, which is bad. We don't want that. So we need to eat a B monster meat, which I think in the next world is the were rat. That's historically what we would eat, but I can't remember. Like, I'm just gonna look. Let's see. The old Game Boy rules and upward path still apply. So if you want a faster early game, Medusa speedrun strat. Same as before. Mini Dragon eats rhinoceros, then dive eagle. There are some additions in the remake, though. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, I found I found the th the combo I was look remember trying to remember. We could eat a we if we eat the wear out we get a basic sprite which is a monster from World Seven. <laughs> we can get a variant sprite by um, eating a rat snake, then a pansy or zombie, and then another rat snake, which is probably what we'll do. Let's see. Either way, our monster is gonna change soon. It might be easier finding the rat snake and the stuff than the wear axe. I remember having trouble finding those monsters. Oh, hey, here, here, hey, three Gs, that's your grandma. <laughs> Yeah, these monsters are a fair bit stronger than the last ones, so we're gonna have to be cautious on... We got Axe, so Robot's just gonna wipe them out. Robot can still just do that in this world with most of the normal enemy encounters, and just blast them away. The money gain is better, though, so... We'll just have to be a little bit more cautious than in last world, because this world's a little bit more dangerous. Let's see... We need a rat snake. That's not a rat snake, probably, but we'll check it out anyway. There's a green slime and a zombie. I wasn't expecting Hale to move before the slime, but that works. There's, a, there's probably a zombie meat. Yeah, if we find the rat snake, we're probably just gonna kill it up, kill off the group as quickly as possible. Because if your monster dies in battle, you can't really feed them meat if they're asleep or dead or whatever. So you kind of need them to survive. So you just want to kill them as fast as possible. We can go just into this town, and there's like some groups we can talk to to like, kind of get into random fights. I think. Not you. Is it this? What? Why you? Whoa! Rogues attacked! We can just kinda get in some fights. I think we can find snakes like this. Oh, yep, there's a rat snake. So let's just uh, blast you away. Cold wave. I think, I think ice is good against both these monster types, so hopefully it's enough. Not quite enough for the pansy. It, it's, the pan, pansies have fangs, today I learned. It's a very hungry plant. Me too. Stab. What we got? Rat snake. Perfect, that's the first meat we need to eat, according to this uh, guide. So we're gonna eat we're, first monster transformation. Eat it! And we get a, a tortoise! <laughs> Which is probably stronger in general than the baby uh, dragon was anyway, but. Okay, so we eat rat snake and then we need to eat a pansy or zombie. And well, there was a pansy in that last fight, so maybe we can just find another this way. Oh, yep. Actually, this is perfect. If this group, if these groups show up like every time, that would be pretty ideal. And you now have fangs. Go. Turtle time. <laughs> Owie. Rude ass snake. Now we need, need pansy meat. Spirit increase! Thank fuck, finally. <laughs> Spirit. Uh. It seems like that's just this fight. I think in the original game, you could find different variants of enemies in this way, but 
Honestly, I don't really mind or care if we find this, because these are the enemies we need anyway, so... Rude ass... No luck. I think we still have some potions, so probably... I mean, we are in town, but I don't have cure yet, so I can't really just cheese out the inn like normally can. So we're just gonna have to use cure potions and kind of do a similar thing. Until we can get this mon- Basically just trying to get the monster that I want out of this. trying to get the monster I want out of this, and then we're probably in the stream, and I'll probably be lunching stuff with my roommates. Because that's usually what we do at 11, but... Yeah, it's just kinda... I doubted a little too long in World 1. They can just sit here and grind off this... this random dude in town. meat yes An apparition which is a little terrifying honestly I want to look at this um I said we need another rat snake but I want to look at this guy this uh, meat thing and see if I can understand how rat snake would influence this um, Apparition. Because Apparition's 35. Uh, let's see, where's Rat Snake? Uh, Rat Snake is a B monster, so 16. So. Wait, no, Apparition is C. And. Uh, Rat Snake is B, so um, it's, it's a zero. But you like you um. So apparition here is thirty-five. If I'm not mistaken. So the Rat Snake would be sixteen. So. Let's see. I think it's, um, eating that would adjust it by... Gotta look at this fucking... Ch I'm just trying to figure out if I can understand how this thing works. So, minus three. So, that would be, um, apparition. Where is Sprite? You're on this list somewhere. I know you fucking are. I just don't know where. <laughs> Taking a, this is extra time I don't need to do because I know what I need to eat because I looked it up, but hmm. Okay, yeah, so I'm an apparition which is 35 by eating the Rat snake meat, it would minus three, which would give me the 32, which is sprite. Okay, so that, so I can kind of read it. Doesn't mean I'm gonna do it right, but I can at least read it. <laughs> I, I know how to read. Alright. Anyway, let's, um, let's get that rat snake meat. And after I eat that, we'll have a, a very cute little sprite monster. Wait, these are all just pansies. Why are there just 
pansies. Like, maybe, I guess you can still, um... Admittedly, this apparition is also a very good monster. Like, very strong from this point in the game. But the sprite we're making is going to be even better. I just need a rat snake meat now. Come on, rat snake! No, <laughs> that's fine. We're getting some. We're getting some more Kara that we can use to buy some new gear and stuff. Rat snake, baby rat snake. Slurp. Chop. Strength increase. No, not pansy. I don't want to be a pansy. <laughs> strength boost is nice, so let's see. Let's check Mavis' strength now. It is 12. 12 by 7 is like 84. But then you have to you have to factor in the enemy's defense as well. So that is still a nice little. A nice damage boost over the previous um, level of stuff, so we should see slightly more damage out of the long swords. I just need the rat snake meat. Yeah, a bit more damage. Pretty soon we're probably gonna be moving Hachiko up to the second slot because. Being a, a mon likely being a monster that's further ahead in from in the game than what we are now will mean that Hachiko's stats are high enough to just be another kind of tank for a while. Like once we get a few more uh, worlds ahead, it'll probably kind of peter out in like um, power. But right now, this monster is extremely overpowered. It's just a good place to grind in general, though, because it's, like, inside town. So you can literally just go to the inn whenever you want. And if you've got Cure, then it's basically free. But we don't have Cure yet. Come on, Rat Snake. Show us that meat, baby. Ooh, spirit boost. That's good. Been needing to see more of those. The more the merrier, as they say. Pansies. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yeah! <laughs> Strength increase. Nice. So we're just getting some passive stat up, so I'm trying to get this monster meat anyway. Um, Three machine gun bursts left and like three cold waves. Uh, we'll, we'll use up a little bit of um, potion. Kind of keep us going a little longer. 
At least until we use up those three, and then we're gonna have to be a retreat. The reason I'm using the submachine gun on this singular guard is because they they can use shields, which can block your damage, even if like you've really if you're even if you're like much stronger than they, than they are, they can at least reduce damage or just outright block your shit, which is annoying. To say the least. But you can't block a machine gun. Really? There are two other delicious people in front of Kale. Why are you doing that, Snake? Uh, come on, give me that. Come on, Snake. Show me some skin. <laughs> I don't know if killing the snake first would be better or not. I don't know if it's just random which monster gives you meat. Wait, why do you use a rapier? You know what? It's fine. <laughs> no! <laughs> I need the snake meat. I'm also getting these shields that aren't really worth a lot of money that I can sell. How many more battles are we doing of this? One more battle, and then we'll go to the end. Oh, let's get my longsword wore out. I was wondering what was going on. I'm still mostly interested in getting those, uh... Getting strength boosts with our, um... Our, our, with Mobis. I think Mobus has a higher multiplier for gaining strength than agility, but it seems like he gains agility just fine anyway, so. Please. Yes! Eat it! Eat it, Spooky Ghost, become Super Fairy. Sprite variant was created. Yes. Ve Normally the sprite's overpowered at this point again, but this is like. This remake had making monster variants because this thing has a um, has a party wide heal now. I think normally it only has cure, which is a single target heal. But yeah, like that is gonna let us just stay at the end for free for free now. Perfect timing too. We're gonna we'll do some shopping and the like. I think we can buy some armor here. Let's see, bronze armor is what we already got. We've got. Yes, slight armor upgrade there, and one there too. Let's look at our stuff here. We've got we got four spaces. Let's sell these shields. They're not really worth our time. Probably we'll probably slide that um that battle axe into Mobus's inventory at some point. But yeah, let's buy two gloves. We'll buy three gloves. One for the robot. One for the road. I'd like a drink and one for the road. <laughs> then we'll just equip this uh, battle axe. I think battle axe has a slight, a slightly higher multiplier than the long sword does, so we'll use it. Okay, and then we'll uh, let's grab. I think this is a helmet. Yeah, it's a bronze helmet, so we'll get a gold helmet, which would be a few more defense points. And then some gold gloves, that'll be another defense point. Okay, and then we'll likewise swap these out as well. Okay, and then let's go to our robo friend here. And we'll give them another pair of gold gloves. Because I swear I bought enough. I did. Uh, yep, that's gonna make them even more hard, even harder to kill. <laughs> Alright, we'll sell some stuff off too. We'll see if there's any weapons I'm interested in. Probably not, but. Bronze gloves, bronze gloves, bronze gloves. A lot of bronze 
garbage. There's no, like, item crafting or anything in this game, so you don't have to worry about, like, oh, I need this long sword for something later. Oh, well, let's make sure nothing else here I, that I need. Eh, we're still probably fine on potions. Plus, now with, um, Hachiko being this, uh, sprite, we're not gonna have to worry about healing for a long time, because Hachiko, Hachiko can just do that with heal on everyone. Which I think this this spell heal did exist in um, the, the original game, but I think it was a very late game ability that so only some monsters could learn. So it's nice having something that knows it very early. <laughs> okay, it's not. Oh, here's here's our here's Big Chungus, our friend, for the storing some, for storing more long swords. I'm absolutely serious about holding on to these because we can just use them to kind of grind up stats but pretty in inexpensively. And otherwise, we're gonna have to wait a long time to get the ability to come back to earlier parts of the game to buy them. Because later we get the means to like come back to earlier parts much quicker than manually walking all the way back, but yeah, we're, we're just uh, interested in uh, not having to walk that much. <laughs> Let's see what weapons they have. Maybe the but maybe my whips here, maybe they just moved them to this. Yeah, I think they just moved the whips to, um, to this uh, place. So we're probably gonna get rid of the rapier on you in favor for a whip, just because it uses the strength, same strength multiplier as the sword does, but trains agility. So we can use our higher stat to um, be useful in combat and get some skill ups. I might just go ahead and give you this though, and we'll hold on to the punch for later. All right. Well, I think that's where we're gonna probably cap off this stream. I'm gonna, gonna go do lunch stuff with my roommates. So we're gonna drop a save here, and we're gonna drop a save state as well, just in case um, it wants to be ornery with me. I, in the past, I've had issues with uh, this emulator not really wanting to save properly, so uh, let's uh, save that. And then we'll load the state as well just to make sure <clears throat> yep perfect all right well other than that that's what that's gonna do me for this stream probably like 12 closer to 12 30 we'll be back with more um streaming i'll be playing more rim world last stream was a fucking disaster we one of our people got eaten by a damn smile dawn and the others are all just in a bad way because everyone's having mental breakdowns and there's fire, there's just a bunch of just, it's bad. So it's very entertaining, but uh, it's very stressful. <laughs> so we're going to be continuing that at next, probably at 1230, it's closer to that time. And later this evening, we're going to be doing some art. I don't know what we're going to be doing art of, but <laughs> we're going to be trying to do some art of some kind. And I'll probably be more than happy to have people just say, hey, can you draw blah, 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 and I'll probably very poorly attempt it. But, yeah, I figured we'd do something else. But for now, yeah, that's going to be the end of the stream. Let me see if I can drop a juicy raid on someone. Let me give it a twitch. See who's on. Let's see. Who is that? Like, sometimes people just change their things, and I just don't like... No who it is anymore but it looks looks like uh let me see the heretic is doing a, a medical mutual aid stream so we're gonna drop in and pass some love to him and i'll see y'all later this afternoon if i see you but if i don't see it later then i'll have i'll see y'all next time i see you y'all have a wonderful day regardless